I don't know if I will ever buy another SPF again. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing the second of my, I don't know how many yet, series of my favorites for 2020. Today we're going over skincare items and hair care. Before we get into these products, if you're new here, I'd love to have you join the family. So please click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and they consist of mostly makeup and beauty as well as some fitness videos sprinkled in. So I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you wanna know my skincare and hair care favorites for 2020, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I'm gonna try to go through these fast because I feel like it's kind of a lot, but it I, I couldn't I couldn't play it down anymore. So we're gonna start off with hair products. Now for my daily shampoo and conditioner, I love the Redken Mega Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. I just got these jumbos. I had the smaller bottles. I actually got them as like a free gift sometime during the summer and I fell in love with the conditioner. And so now I have the big bottles. This is my, every time I wash, I use these. I will occasionally mix in a clarifying shampoo just to help take away any buildup I may have. But as far as my favorites, Redken products, I absolutely love them. And you will see a lot of them in this video. As far as hair masks go, the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask is one of my favorites. This is my second tub of this. I found out about it, not this past Christmas, but Christmas before, and I used a whole tub then. I have others that I mix in, but of, we're talking about favorites, so this is it. Absolutely love this. I like the shampoo as well. I have explained this before, but whenever I do my hair, I treat my hair like it's damaged all the time, even when it's healthy. So all of the products are gonna be thermal protectant, um, repairing, strengthening, moisturizing. Like I just always treat my hair like it's really fragile because I do chemically straighten my hair. I relax it every six to eight weeks. So I just wanna make sure I'm taking care of it. For leave-in conditioner, another Redken product. I told you guys that I had several bottles of this. This is the 25 Benefit United One All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. It's a leave-in conditioner, kind of like the It's a 10, but I feel like I like this one better because it's a little bit lighter. And I think I just used the It's a 10 one for so long. You have to switch up your products occasionally just to give your hair like a jump start. like, oh, we got something new. So this is what I'm on right now. And I've actually been on this for probably a year. So Maybe time to switch it up, but for right now, it's still working and I love it. It detangles, heat protects, moisturizes, all that good stuff. Another leave-in treatment that I like is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. This is basically just a leave-in treatment and it says that it is good for all hair textures and perfect for those with very dry, damaged, and or chemically treated hair. That is me. Not dry. Well, I do think my hair is dry. It's not damaged, but chemically treated. So like I said, treat it like it's damaged. I love this as well. I actually use them both. So I'll spray a little bit of one, work that in, spray a little bit of this one, work it in. I use a lot of different products when I do my hair. You will see in my wash day video. Two other treatment products that I absolutely love and swear by are the Olaplex brand one is the number six bond smoother this is a leave-in cream that you put mostly from the mid length to the roots of your hair i use this every single time i do my hair and i buy a new one every sephora sale because i think this little bitty thing is 30 dollars but i don't think i use or maybe 38 dollars something like that i use about a quarter size amount so i think it lasts for a good a long time but it still just makes me nervous because it's expensive, but I really feel like it works well. I also use their number three hair perfecter. And this one, it says use one time a week for damaged hair, use two to three times a week. 
This, you actually wet your hair first and then put this on and let it sit and then you wash your hair. I don't use this one as much because honestly, I forget about it. I don't tend to wet my hair first and then just sit around with my hair wet. So I have to make a conscious effort to think to use this one. I have noticed a difference in terms of manageability and being able to detangle better whenever I do use this. So I need to use it more, but I know when I use it, I can tell a difference and I love it. Another Briogeo product, I found out about this one um, sometime last year. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. I don't know if this is new or I just found out about it, but I have a cabinet that is full of hair products. It's kind of ridiculous. It's just like makeup. So if I can find something I know I'm gonna like on sale, I tend to grab it. This little bottle was $30. It smells really good and it has these little flowers in it. So I don't know, I thought that was really cool, but it works really well and it doesn't wear, weigh my hair down. I love products that I can put in my hair. I try to wash my hair only once a week. That's another thing, I don't wash it a lot. I put heat in it only once a week. So I just try to wrap my hair every night and make it stretch even with my workouts. But when I want moisture or it's starting to look a little crazy, I will use this oil and it doesn't weigh it down. Another oil that I like to use is this Macadamia Professional Weightless Moisture Dry Oil Micro Mist. This says it is for baby fine to fine hair, which I do have fine hair. I just have thicker fine hair. So anytime I put any kind of product in my hair, it automatically weighs it down. So that's why I'm always looking for something that says it's lightweight or for fine hair or won't weigh your hair down, but it's still going to help moisturize. I love the way this one smells too. So if I'm putting it in my hair at the end of the week, or even when I first do it, it's not gonna weigh it down and not gonna take away from the freshness of just having it washed. Another styling product that I love, these three are actually all kind of thermal protectants. This first one is sort of like the Redken leave-in conditioner, the treatment, but this one is a, it's called a primer. This is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. This is more of an oil formula, then this one is more like a cream. This I love the smell of. I have a small one of these that I keep in my travel bag and it basically helps to detangle. It's argan oil and sunflower seed oil. Very lightweight, smells amazing, and you can just use it in wet hair. It'll help detangle. And it also says use it prior to heat styling. So it does work as a heat protectant. These other two products are heat protectants. One, I, this is another brand that I love. The first one is this blow dry spray. This is an advanced dry thermal protectant. This is really light. It almost feels like when you're spraying it, it feels like an oil, but it helps your hair to dry faster. So that's less heat that you have to put in it when you're styling it. Like I said, I wash my hair once a week. I curl it once a week because I try to keep my ends from getting really split and damaging my hair with too much heat. But even still, I use a heat protectant. This one is also a thermal styling spray, but this one is more kind of like a hairspray. It has a hold to it. So when I use this one, my hair actually feels hard after and it holds my curls a lot better. So if I'm worried about the humidity and I want my curls to last, I use this. I do also use this one sometimes when I'm styling my wigs because they never hold a curl. So I will spray this and then curl my wigs and it'll last longer. I have three bottles of this. This, this is the Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Hot Off The Press Thermal Protection Spray. This almost kind of feels like a wax because it gives a hold. I also use this in my wigs and it helps to hold the curl. It gives a hold, but it doesn't make it crunchy. The Kenra one kind of makes it crunchy. This one, it just, you spray it, you can do for curly hair, straight hair, you spray it, you style how you want, and then you can run your fingers through it and it's just gonna bounce back. Last hair care product that I needed to mention is this Extra Strength Refresh and Revitalize Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Shampoo. I love this dry shampoo because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I use a dry shampoo, 
I don't like the ones that add a lot of texture and they tend to make your hair feel gritty. And I'm like, well, that defeats the purpose of using a dry shampoo to make my hair feel cleaner. This one says that it helps restore freshness. It's oil absorbing and your hair is transformed with a light and luxurious texture. This says that it's extra strength. It smells amazing. And I like that it doesn't make my hair feel gritty. It actually makes it feel clean. Now we're gonna move into skincare items. I have talked about this before. This is a new box because my other one is still wet in the shower. This is the Murad Hydration AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I told you guys I love this. I use it every single time I wash my face. I actually wash my face with a cleansing balm first, which this is my favorite cleansing balm. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off um, Cleansing Balm. I use this first, then I use a regular cleanser and it's pretty much just whatever I have in my shower. And then I go in with the exfoliator just to make sure everything is clean. So every time I wash my face, it is a three step process, but this has worked wonders for me. And I'm excited that my face is clear and I will continue to use these because I know it is not breaking me out. The cleanser that I have fallen in love with, and I picked this up during the summer, is this Kopari Tropical Glow Cleanser. First of all, the smell of this, it smells like pineapple, like pina colada, absolutely amazing. This says that it has pineapple and papaya enzymes and it brightens while coconut water hydrates and refreshes the face. This I don't use in the shower because I have other cleansers. This one I use in the mornings whenever I'm washing my face to get ready to go to work or just getting ready for the day. I love how it smells, feel like it kind of wakes me up some, but at the same time, I feel like it gives me a really good cleanse and you can feel the enzymes working because if I've been picking at my face and I have something that is like open, like I picked a scab that's healing, you can feel the burn. So I know that the enzymes that they say they have in here actually exist and they work. So I love using this in the morning. Another product that I love using at night, I actually use these two together. This is the Luna, Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil and the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. The night oil is a retinol treatment. So this is gonna help with fine lines, wrinkles, pores, helps with aging, but then the sleeping mask, this is to help with, it says glowing radiance and softening. So I like to put the oil on first and I let that sit and then I put the mask on top of it because I like this mask, but as you can see, it's kind of like a jelly-ish, it's very thin. Like I'm about to spill that, it's about to pour out. And with my face being as dry as it is, I like something that's a little thicker and more nourishing. So pairing these two together have been a perfect combo for me. Another product for moisturizing I've been loving. This I kind of just use all over my body. So feet, my arms, I've also noticed that I've had some dry spots here. When my hands split, when my hands are really dry, especially after workouts, like the skin on the back of my hands will literally just split and I'll have little bitty tears on the back of my hand and it burns when I shower and takes forever to heal and the back of my hand looks scabby, it's gross. But I love using this to help moisturize and also to kind of heal. It says intense hydration and skin protectant. So I will use this on my face and on my body. It's thick, but it absorbs into the skin really well and it doesn't have a smell, it's fragrance free, so it's great for sensitive skin. This Aqua 4 has come in clutch for my lips. When I tell you guys, I never know. Some mornings I'll wake up and they won't be that bad. And then other times I can literally just, they feel shriveled up and I can feel them flaking. And unfortunately, if I don't put something on it that's gonna stay and soften it, I'm gonna pick. This Aqua 4 is a healing ointment. It's kind of like Neosporin, but not. This feels so good on my lips when they're dry and it is my absolute favorite thing to use. If my lips feel okay, I'll use my Laneige sleeping mask. But if I am in like, oh crap, they are getting bad, this is like my emergency. So lip sleeping mask, definitely a favorite for every night and sometimes during the day too. 
And then also, this was a new find for me this year. This is the 24 karat collagen, gold collagen lip serum by Physicians Formula. I showed you guys this in a haul and I just thought this was cool because it's like a, it's a serum. So it's sticky, like you see how that looks right there. But when you put it on your lips, it almost feels kind of like a oil, like a oil, I don't know if, yeah, you can kind of see on the back of my hand there that glow. It's like a oil and a gel at the same time and it doesn't disappear really easy. And it says it has collagen in it. I do feel like it kind of helps fill in the lines and makes my lips look a little more plump, a little more smooth. So I like using this before I do my makeup. Down to the wire, another lip product. I went through it this year. Of course, the Laneige Glowy Lip Balm. I've talked about these and I just recently hauled more. I keep this in my purse. This is my go-to when I'm out and about and I just need to put something on my lips. I don't like chapstick anymore. I do still like the Jack Black with the SPF, especially if I know I'm gonna be out in the sun, but just for like at work or everyday gym, I need to reapply after grunting and sweating and breathing hard, I will use this. This SPF, I don't know if I will ever buy another SPF again. This surprised me. I got this during one of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sales this year. This is the Kylie Skin Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen. Y'all, this smooths your skin. It kind of has that silicone -y feel to it. I don't know if you can see how that looks on my finger right there. It is clear. And when you put it on your skin, it does not give you a blue cast at all. It smooths, you don't see anything. Every single sunscreen that I have used gives me that stupid blue cast and I don't like wearing them because if I'm not doing makeup and just putting sunscreen on, my face looks crazy. I can put this on, it helps blur my pores, it helps to smooth out my forehead wrinkles, but it still feels hydrating and no cast. I'm mad I didn't get more than one because I think this is like 20 bucks. It's not that expensive, but I will be repurchasing this and I will probably never wear another sunscreen again. Last three products. This is my Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydro Filler Concentrate. I know I just picked this up, but I use an eye cream all the time. I never go to bed without an eye cream and I don't leave the house in the morning without an eye cream. So I know what works and what doesn't. This one, when I put this on, I don't know how it does it. It stays a little wet at first, but when it dries down, it's almost like it just puts a filter over your under eye. Like it just smooths everything out. And I actually bring it up around the top of my eyes too to help with the crow's feet but everything just feels smooth and it's like it's a barrier there that stops your concealer from sinking into your fine lines. I found out about this from Nicole Guerrero and I bought it as soon as I saw her video and I'm so glad I have a backup because I just got this and you can see I'm a third of the way through. I use this every single day. Last two products are face oils. This Lancer Omega Hydrating Oil. I am sad that I only have a small size of this. I use this also at night or in during the day when I'm not wearing makeup. This feels so good on my skin. It sinks in really well. It doesn't just sit on top of the skin, but I feel like it's a little thicker. So it lasts longer and stays on my skin and absorbs better. I don't know how I tried it. And the next morning I woke up and I was just like, wow, my skin feels good. And I rarely have that. So if I'm not doing my night mask, my sleeping mask and the Luna oil combination. I am using this oil and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna buy a full size. The last oil I have is this Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. This is a primer oil, but I will use it by itself. This one is thinner than the Lancer one and I like using this under my makeup. I've learned though when I use an oil or all of these hydrating products under my makeup, I have to let them sit and sink in because if not, it emphasizes my forehead wrinkles because it's like everything's just kind of sitting and moving around and it never really sets. I'm not a big rose person. The smell of this is not too overwhelming, thank God. 
but I just, I love how this feels and it's not that expensive. So if you're looking for a primer oil, definitely give this one a try. Last thing, sorry, I can't believe I was gonna leave this out. Y'all already know, this is my Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. I told you guys, I love this. It has done wonders for my lashes. Right now I'm using the Lash Food one and I just started using it, so I'm not sure. I can't give you an opinion on it yet but I have it, so I'm gonna use it, but I'm already feeling like I can't wait to get back to using this one. That is it for my skincare favorites and for my hair care favorites. If you guys have tried any of this stuff, comment below, let me know if there's other products that you think I would like, if you have dry skin like I do, or you're working on hyperpigmentation, or you have relaxed hair and you have products that you love, comment below and let me know. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.